the bigger broccoli, green beans, and pasta. Rocks in the kitchen, taste it, make it, boil it up and eat pasta. Rocks in the kitchen, chop it, dice it, boil it in a bowl. Rocks in the kitchen, saute, souffle, simmer it in salt. things and now I'm going to show you King Arthur's recipe for not King Arthur the King but King Arthur the flower company. I'm going to make you show you their recipe for their baked pumpkin donuts which are really great and I have been using them over and over and over. So here we go. First of all it's helpful if you have non-stick donut molds and they're maybe six or seven dollars a piece through Amazon. If you don't want to go through that and you have cupcake um, things, muffin pans, you can use them, but then it's going to be a baked muffin, which most muffins are baked. It's not going to be a donut. So this is one of, this is a quick bread, of course. Quick bread is anything with baking soda or baking powder or both. And it really is a quick recipe. So in one bowl, I am going to put one and three quarter cups flour plus two tablespoons. Now, I know that sounds complicated, but if you measure out two cups of flour and then take out two tablespoons, you will have one and three quarter cups of flour plus two tablespoons. Great. Now, the, uh, along with this, we want to put in a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Great. And we want to put in a half a teaspoon of ginger. We also need to put in a teaspoon and a half of salt. We need the baking powder. And the baking powder, we want one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. There we go. And we want to whisk these dry ingredients together. Now, three large eggs. Oh, oops. <laughs> Whisk them up. Add in a half a cup of vegetable oil. Keep whisking. Let's add in one and a half cups of pumpkin puree, fresh or canned. If you look at my pumpkin coconut soup episode, it shows you how to process a fresh pumpkin, so you can do it that way. And we also want to put in one to one and a half cups of sugar. It's up to you. We need some cinnamon in here. There, cinnamon. Yay! Cinnamon. Whisk these together. Add in your flour, your spices, your baking powder. Use a wooden spoon or any spoon, but don't use your whisk. The flour will stick to the whisk and it will become a mess. My students know that. Don't you students? Anyway, so now we're just mixing this together. I'll try to be as neat as I can. As I can. You have to spray or wipe, put some oil on a paper towel or spray. Your, even though it's non-stick, I have learned it's best to spray anyway. So spray your molds. I use this portion scoop. It is absolutely the perfect size. This recipe makes 12. Once you get them in there, you can use your scoop to just mush it around a little bit. Right? So you do that for all 12. 
and then uh, put them in the oven, a 350 oven, probably for about, I would start with about 15 minutes, and then if you need to, add another five minutes or so. Ta-da! So as soon as they come out of the oven, dip them in the cinnamon sugar, and you're ready to go. There is one more thing that really is amazing. The episode after this, next week episode, is on my incredible cranberry sauce. And it really is, with no added sugar, as a matter of fact. And I've been told that it's even better than the normal cranberry sauce and much healthier for you. To put this on a plate with a little bit of that cranberry sauce in the middle is an outstanding dessert for the winter months. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Chef Scott, Sacks in the Kitchen, Pumpkin Cake Donuts. See you, Lou. See you later.